Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. In this episode, we're going to be doing a resin review. Alright, let's get to it. The resin that I'll be reviewing is the iForm 181 Skin Tone Resin from Yusu. Now, first things first, I was given this bottle for my review, but I promise, no matter how I get a product, I'll always be honest about it. So if I have to buy it out of pocket, or if it's given to me, or if I steal it from a goblin, or if that wizard gives it to me with a cryptic message about not letting it get touched by moonlight or sunlight, I don't know, one or the other, I wasn't listening. The point is, no matter how I get a product, I'll always be honest about it. One of the first things I really like about this is the fact that it's made of aluminum. To be honest, it's not a huge difference. Most bottles that I've had have never worried about their durability, but it is a nice touch. One thing that does absolutely set it apart from plastic bottles, though, is the fact that it has a seal around the top from the factory. So once you get it, you have to break that seal so you know it hasn't been opened and you know it's not going to leak anywhere. Once you do open it, though, inside the cap, there is a secondary plastic or a rubber plug, almost like a, a cork, and then you have to pull that out in order to pour the resin. So it's actually got kind of like a two-part safety system, which I really like. All right, so let's talk detail. Despite the fact that this would be considered budget category resin, I can count each individual scale on the scale mail. That means that this holds detail really well, which is one of the most important things to consider when buying a resin. Moreover, I found this stuff to be really easy to work with, and I do know that that's kind of a loaded statement. There are lots of different factors that go into making a resin easy versus difficult to work with, and while I don't have laboratory conditions here, I do have the ability to control things like temperature and humidity. So your results may vary depending on your setup, but with the different resins that I've used, I found this to be one of the easier ones. Another thing I want to note is you'll see some issues with this model, and that's because I rushed the cleaning and the post-processing, which something you shouldn't do, especially if you're going to put it under bright lights and on a turntable and in front of a high-powered camera, but, you know, lesson learned. Last note I want to make about this is the color I found to be a little too orange to be a true skin tone, so if that's something you're looking for, you might be a little disappointed, but I didn't mind the color, I just wanted to mention it because it is called skin. Moving on to the flexibility test, I was able to get this to flex about 5 degrees before it snapped, which puts this right in the average category as far as flexibility when it comes to most basic resins. Next up is the 30 inch drop test, 30 inch being roughly the height of most average tables. What we're looking for here is two drops without any significant damage. You can see the first drop goes really well. Second drop, however, you can see there's pretty good damage. And again, that's definitely to be expected with a, a model that's this small with details that are this fine. You're going to have pieces break within the first or second drop. So again, that puts this right in the average category for most basic resins, and there's nothing wrong with that. So real quick, if you like the models I was using in the video, then definitely check out the printing goes ever on. You can purchase the individual models on their website and on My Mini Factory, but if you join their Patreon, you get access to the models and also stat blocks and battle maps and a ton of other really cool stuff, so I definitely recommend you check that out. You can find links for everything down below. So, final thoughts. Other than durability, this resin was really impressive. And even still, the durability was average. It was nothing more than what I was expecting. But the price point of this is a budget resin, and it performs well above that. So, next time you're looking for an inexpensive resin that's going to give you really good results, definitely consider checking out some of Yusu's resin. You can find links for it down below. Okay, I sincerely hope you found this review helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. It does help the channel, and I really appreciate it. And if you like the work that I'm doing here and you want to support the channel, you can find my Patreon information down below. Alright, let's go print something.